Before he strikes again! Here it comes! I got your back! Here you go. Let's go! The decreed hour is come. Set forth with my blessing, Prince Noctis. Thank you, Your Majesty. Take your leave and go in the grace of the gods. Right. <sighs> Well, princes will be princes. So much for royal protocol. Not like you had to deliver a formal address. Your Highness! What now? I fear I have left too much unsaid. You place a great burden on those who would bear with you. <laughs> You're one to talk. I ask not that you guide my wayward son, merely that you remain at his side. Indeed, Your Grace. We'll see the Prince to Altissia if it's the last thing we see. Yeah, what he said. Hate to break this up, but Kor's got the motor running. Drados, he's in your hands. And another thing. Do mind your manners around your charming bride-to-be. Your Majesty as well. Try to mind yours around our esteemed guests from Niflheim. You have no cause for concern. Nor do you. Take heed. Once you set forth, you cannot turn back. If you think I would? I need only know that you are ready to leave home behind. Don't know about you, but I'm ready as I'll ever be. Take care on the long road. Wheresoever you should go, the line of Lucis goes with you. Walk tall, my son.
I think we can forget about hitching our way there. Thought people were friendly outside the city. Yeah, you can only go so far on the kindness of strangers. You're just gonna have to push her all the way. I've already pushed myself. To the brink of death. You get up. <sighs> Come on, car isn't gonna move itself. Sheesh. I thought the car was supposed to move us. Wouldn't that be nice? Can it? Ready, steady. Push! Unbelievable. Not exactly a fairy tale beginning, huh, Prince Noctis? We let ourselves get carried away. Look, these things happen. Let's just hope this isn't some omen. Gladio, do me a favor. What? Push this thing by yourself. All by myself? You won't even notice if we just let go. Prompto, don't even think about it. Save some breath for pushing. Ignis, come on, time to switch. Nuh-uh, we just switched back there. And it's my turn, Nucked. His turn. Oh, my hands are killing me. You rather I kill you with mine? Easy there, tough guy. Any luck? Only a busy signal. Hold the phone. Is it just me, or was it supposed to be way closer? I assure you, the map is correct. The map said Hammerhead was right there. Literally, next door. Looks that way. On a map of the world. <sighs> the world's a big old place. Filled with wonders. Uh, tell that to my legs. You guys even pushing? Hard as I can. With everything I've got. Y'all kept a girl waiting. Now, which one's the prince? Aha! Hello, your highness. Congrats on your wedding. Not hitch just yet. Lady Luna Freya's groom to be here in Hammerhead. Apologies for taking so long. <laughs> you best save your apologies for Papa. Well, that makes you. Cindy. Sid's grease monkey granddaughter. Roll her in while I'm still young. Didn't your daddy tell you? She's a custom classic, not some beat up old clunker. Prince Noctis. Uh, yeah. Prince. Like they took your old man and kicked the dignity out of him. What? You got a long way to go, son. And that slack jaw's getting you nowhere fast. She's gonna take a while. Y'all get her in and run along. <sighs> Y'all heard him. Let's get moving. Right this way. Now, we play the waiting game. Uh, never liked that game. Never any good at it, either. Oh! Hey there! Prince! Y'all ain't never been out this way before, have you? Go on, have a look around. This'll make sure y'all don't get lost.
Well, might as well make good use of the extra time. Whoa! They got Ebony out here! Oh, Ignis is gonna flip! We... Oh... Uh... A moment, knocked. We've expended the last of our funds on the repairs. I suggest we confer with Cindy. Broken down, and flat broke. Adding insult to injury. Old man. after charging us that much. Yeah, let's pay him a visit. She ain't gonna be ready for a while. Y'all need something? We're strapped for cash. Any way we could earn a little? Now I get it. This must be what Papa meant when he said he was gonna teach them boys a lesson. Told me he ought to have y'all take care of some ornery varmints that have been causing a ruckus around here. I'd be happy to pay for your services if you're up to the challenge. How about it? Old man's got his eye on you, Noct. Show him what you got. But don't go running around after dark. The demons are liable to rip y'all to shreds. Here, this ought to be enough for a place to stay. Just between us, though, don't tell Papa. Better make tracks. Ignis, we're going. On my way. Looks like we found our first connections. Ready not? Yeah! Time. Let's get on with it. So, uh, 
Where are we headed anyway? Nowhere. Yeah. <sighs> then we have the golden key. Then after that, we hop a boat, and before you know it, <laughs> lover boy's here. <laughs> Wait for car repairs, then wedding bells in the air. <laughs> Got it. Nice. Mission complete. Who could this be? Hello? Hey, it's Cindy. How goes the hunting? Actually, we just finished. That's great, because I got one more hunt for y'all. Only this time, it's a person. Fella named Dave went off, and we ain't heard from him since. Reckon he staked out a spot in an old shack nearby. Old shack? Uh, oh, got it. We'll take a look. So, what did Cindy say? He needs us to find some Dave guy. He went missing? Not missing. Said he's holed up in that shack. this knocked get out of here you okay we are now spoke too soon remember just a scared of us easy as they come it's a nice guy nothing to it Hey, what about the shack over there? out there well and look who's in here the man of the hour Dave right <laughs> been looking for you yeah. didn't mean to cause y'all any trouble yeah, I've been stuck here on account of my sprained ankle yeah something funny about them varmints I gave them hell but couldn't finish the job still one mean mud about well y'all don't look much like hunters but what do you say? Put that puppy to rest for me? Oh, sounds too dangerous to be let alone. Tell us where to go. Well, Y'all got guts, that's for sure. Let me tell you where I last saw him. The people are at risk, Noct. You have a royal duty to ensure their safety. to rest up before we set out. In that case, let's find a spot to make camp. The hunters are really out in full force around here, huh? So they're the new Crowns Guard or something? Similar, though technically a civilian outfit. They've definitely seen a lot more action than we have. Uh... Is it cool that we rock Crown's Guard outfits? 
Be worse not to. They made him especially for us. You even got a sweet insignia on him. In the Crown's Guard, your attire identifies you. So wear it. Pride. We're here. Let's call it a day. All right. I'm a pitch. Not bad. Look at you. <laughs> like a father to her. Ever since they got back, Sid's been the only one looking after her. Rather more than a middling mechanic can handle. All things considered, I'd say she turned out okay. But like any girl, you just need to treat her right. Treat her wrong and Sid will stuff his... where the sun don't shine. Take care of the car, and it will take care of us. Yeah, the car. Sometimes I wonder if we'll ever sit inside that beautiful car again. Sitting most of the day was pretty nice. Napping was even better. Over there! That's it, right? Huh. That's a dual horn? Yes, but not your run-of-the-mill breed. We'd best make quick work of it. <laughs> Wait a sec. What? Scared, big guy? You ought to be, too. Thing's vicious. You sure? Looks tame to me. Yeah. Look out! <laughs> yeah! Show those balls! Oh, nice one. It's not over yet! <laughs> Ready for round two? Bring it! Yeah! yeah. 
Now it's time to go to town. <laughs> Give them hell, Mark. Fucked up. Game is up. No use hanging around here. Indeed. Ring, ring. Hello? Hey, Dave just called and said he's safe. Thanks for finding him. Okay. Nice work, y'all. By the way, the old girl's looking good as new. She'll be waiting at the garage. Gotcha. So, who's up next behind the wheel? Ignis should take it and never let go. It helps that he can keep four eyes on the dash. <laughs> I couldn't even keep one. Not sure I'd do any better. Put me in the driver's seat. Good. Because I need the leg to yeah! back. It's rude to keep a girl waiting. You better apologize. Uh, uh, what is that? A live hurricane! That thing's like half bird, half storm, half airship. You realize that's three halves. Well, that explain its size. <laughs> awesome in every sense. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Please come again. You see this, Noct? What about it? Sorry about the wait. Ain't she pretty? She's almost too pretty for the road. She's back. We should all get a picture with her. to ride with care. Oh, and before I forget, would y'all mind making a little delivery for me? Oh, me! I'll do it! Someone's eager. Thought you'd say yes. So I already put it in the trunk. There should be a motel on your way to Galden. If y'all wouldn't mind giving that to the owner, that'd be swell. Grandpa like grandkid. 
Now that she's all polished up and ready for the road, would you care to take her for a little test drive, Noct? Sure, why not? Didn't remind size caution. Y'all want to fix roll? Let go. Well, but I can. How about the decals? What do you fix in to upgrade? How's this? Y'all just sit tight now. She's all ready for you. Have a look. Time to go. All right. Hammerhead is like no garage ever. You know? One would expect no less of purveyors to the crown. Ah, <sighs> I'll miss it once this road trip's over with. Huh? There's no reason you can't pay them a visit anytime you please. I'm sure Cindy will be glad to look after your car. Oh, right. So, that's what this is about. If you need, I could always lend you the regalia. Whoa! Huh. Uh, thanks for the offer, but once we're back in the Crown City, I think I'd better score my own wheels. That's far enough for today. Might be wise to leave the driving to me until we found our bearings out here. You all came all the way. Hmm? Umbra. Bringing us stuff. Had a boy. A dog can really track a scent. Certainly knows how to find us. How do you always know, boy? <sighs> Just a sec. Nice flower. It's the same kind we sewed our crowns from. Oh yeah, sill blossoms. So, hmm? I have a favor to ask. Take the notebook with you when you go. Sure. That's not all. I want you to put something in the book and send it back. All set. Take care out there. I know. You're not gonna tell me. Then don't ask. What was that about? <sighs> you don't say. Now that I will let's see ourselves to Golden. Hold on a sec, sir. I found an envelope addressed to Meldasio inside the package. Meldasio? The Hunter HQ? Yes, sir. The headhunter ought to be around here somewhere. Mind making one more delivery? What do you say, Noct? 
Might as well while we're in the neighborhood. Well, look who it is. I really owe you boys one. Make that two. <laughs> Can't seem to catch a break. Yeah. yeah, looks like they found another one. Wait, uh... Found another what? Tag. Us hunters keep them on our person at all times as identification. What, in case you forget who you are? More like so no one else forgets who they were. Hunters lead a life of danger. Sometimes these tags are the only things that make it back in one piece. It's our job to deliver them to the families of the fallen. As it were, I came out here to do just that. <sighs> if y'all happen to find any tags lying around out there, would you do me a favor and send them my way? Yeah, sure. Word is, somebody spotted a tag around these parts. Try asking the local tipster. He'll point you in the right direction. <laughs> Those tags are heavy stuff. They certainly carry emotional weight. We'd best find and return them. And give the families peace of mind. Let's start by following... Welcome to the Crow's Nest. You boys must be hungry. Be careful. I saw a Magitek trooper the other day. Those things are downright unsettling. So, uh, you think in a fairy tale, Lady Lunafreya back to the Crown City? Nah, no need to rush to happily ever after. Wow. Still can't believe you're actually tying the knot, dude. How does it feel now that it's finally happening? Fine, I guess. Ah, uh, come on, you can't fool me. Any guy would be over the moon to marry her. No big deal. Yeah, whatever. It came from there. Maybe... this way? Yeah! Rock and roll! Nothing to it. Picking up the pieces, I guess. Well, try to keep your spirits up. Even though I ain't one to talk, I beat myself up over the lives of the hunters I couldn't save. That's what each one of these tags means to me. They hurt. 
But if I let that grief keep me from looking for them, then their tags and their lives will be forgotten forever. And that'd hurt more than anything. Yeah, guess you're right. You know, that's why I tell all my hunters to collect any tag they see, and I expect you boys to go out and do the same. Everything in order? Yep. For our next story, Lady Lunafreya of Tenebrae has issued an official statement regarding the forthcoming treaty. Words cannot express the joy in my heart on receiving word of this coming peace, nor the pride I take in my betrothal, playing a part in this historic moment. On this joyous occasion, some have voiced cause for concern. The fear I will be unable to fulfill my duties as Oracle. Please rest assured, my marriage will not stand in the way of my calling. You will find me in your towns and villages, as you always have, and I shall continue to bless you all. Lady Luna Freya will set forth from Tenebrae for her wedding ceremony in the coming days. Please be advised that during this time alone, her duties as Oracle will be suspended. It's in the treaty? Of course. Simple formality. One of those symbol of the peace deals. So it's more like a marriage of convenience. Her ladyship seems nevertheless amenable to the prospect. And Noctir likes the idea. What's that? I do? Buzz off. Hey! I see the sea! I see it too. That's Golden Key. Kinda wanna go for a dip. That a big mountain behind it? No, it's an island. Nobody goes to Golden for an island, though. They go to kick back and get massages. Can't say with the seafood. It's famously delicious. Sounds great. Something to look forward to. Might want to stock up on potions and stuff. Nice. You're being helpful for a change. What do you mean, for a change? Ready to set sail? Just kind of... A feature on the wedding. And get a load of Lady Luna Freya's dress. That's some fancy fabric work. Bet the groom can't wait to see it on his bride-to-be. Uh, he's not the only one. Whew. She's gonna be an absolute knockout. The dress is bespoke, of course, and comes courtesy of one of Altitia's foremost fashion designers. <laughs> Bet the food's gonna be pretty damn fancy, too. Eh, as long as it's something I can eat. As opposed to... Welcome to Gold... I'm afraid you're out of luck. Are we? The boats bring you here. What about them? Well, they'll not take you forth. And what's your story? I'm an impatient traveler, ready to turn ship. The ceasefire's getting us nowhere. <laughs> what's this? Some sort of souvenir? <gasps> they make those? What? No. Consider it your allowance. Huh? Yeah. And who's allowing us? A man of no consequence. Oh, yeah, right. Oh. Oh. Do you believe what that guy said about the port being closed? I'm skeptical, though I won't discount the possibility. I say we go check it out for ourselves. Absolutely breathtaking. Yes, I was about to... Ah, man, not a 
ship in sight. What gives? What's all this about the port closing? <sighs> Some kind According of... to my sources, the Empire, given strict orders not to let any vessels leave the docks of Altitia. Real shame if you were late to your own wedding. Right, Prince Noctis? Name's Dino, by the way. Pleasure. The Crown Prince of Lucis, bounty hunting in his fancy car. Surely you didn't think it'd go unnoticed. At least not by this reporter. Lucky for you, this reporter has integrity. If you want to remain incognito, I'll respect your wish. In exchange for a favor. I don't owe you anything. Wait, we mustn't rub him the wrong way. The sound of tacit agreement. Here. Marked where you need to go on your map. All you gotta do is find me some rough gemstones. Like this one. Do this, and your ship will come in. Don't, and the papers will run you out of town. Capiche? really got your number, Nox. Huh. Not like we made much effort to keep it secret. Even if we had, the press always finds a way. We needn't befriend him, but we'd best not make him our enemy. Mm, this is amazing. Well, you can't beat... Hey, buddy. What's up? Taking a little stroll? How come you're all alone? You must be hungry. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Hold on a sec. I'll find you something. Well, gotta come up with some cat food. Could always buy some. Or we could fish for some. Excellent idea. Let's go. All right, this one's perfect. Here you go, caught fresh. <sighs> what? You don't like fish? Oh, you only like cooked fish. All right. Welcome to Golden Key. Hey, do you serve anything a cat might like? That the best pickup line you've got? What? No, I... There's this cat over there. <laughs> I'm only teasing. I have a feeling I know the feline you've got in mind. Let me whip something up. Paying customers come first, though, and someone just ordered the last fish on hand. Would you mind catching another one of these while I make their meal? Hope everything will be up and running by morning. Great! I'll start on it right away. You know, this is really thoughtful of you, but be warned. Cats are clingy. And they're notoriously picky eaters, too. Picky eaters? You don't say. When it comes to food, felines are quite finicky. So you are wise to entrust the cooking to me, here. One spoiled cat. Aww. I think he likes you. I guess. Clawed his way into a heart. Might keep on clinging. Forever.
Hello there. Come to fish the deep blue sea? Always a pleasure. See you next time. Take a look at this. What about it? Hmm? They knocked. That looks like a fishing spot. Serious? This will be our first time fishing outside the Crown City. Wonder what you can catch out here. Only one way to find out. Great job, Noct. I think I'll play King's Knight in the meantime. Better not. His highness will get sulky. For more, are we? Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Good luck out there. It's time. Gladio, come on! Gotcha. Sleeping out under the stars tonight.
Damn, this is a really good shot. <laughs> I made sure I got the... Ignis would get off my back. He'd ease up if you could just get up in the morning. Ah, a cure for sleeping in. All right. Crack of dawn tomorrow. We train at the beach. If you think it'll help. Oh, no doubt about it. You'll feel like a new man. I know just the place. Come on. Alrighty. So, what are we gonna do exactly? We're going for a run. Nice and simple. What? That's all? Try saying that when your lungs are ripe to burst. Sand's tough to run on. There's no better way to improve stamina, and no better time to do it than first thing in the morning. To make it interesting, what say we race? Race? With stakes. If you lose, you have to train with me every day. <laughs> and I can't lose, can I? That there's the goal. Now let's get started. Ready, set, go! <laughs> Damn, he's quick for his size. Hey! You trying to lose? Ah, this sucks. Piece of cake. Hey, you're not doing so bad. Yes! Well done, Noct. There's no way Specs can complain when you come back to camp this early. Encrusted in sand. Make sure you act nice and smug when you see him. Yeah. If this doesn't shut Ignis up, I don't know what will. I gotta say, though, it's kinda nice at this hour. Even if that's all you take from this, that's good enough for me. Come on. Let's go. Good hustle out there. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm awesome.
ready for more? You bet. Let's hit it. Maybe Sid was right about your lack of dignity. You're one step above delivery, boy. The royal rank carries little weight outside the Grand City. Glad it's not weighing me down. Right spot? According to the map. Let's scope it out. <laughs> the color's amazing. <laughs> O-M-G. <laughs> We're supposed to get near that thing? Pipe down before you wake it up. journey's end. But that feat was fit for a king. Indeed. Rock and roll! Everything in order? Yep. All right.
We need to replenish our supply of curatives. Gotcha. Welcome to Golden Key. Are we staying here? Just so you know, I'm cool with camping. Nice work, kid. Sorry for giving you such a hard time. I just had to get my hands on this, even if it meant blackmail. You understand, don't you? You see, I'm a reporter by day and an amateur jeweler by night. This elusive little beauty's gonna become a masterpiece. To make it up to you, I'll share a little scoop. That special coin you got? It commemorates the Oracle's ascension. That guy was tossing them out to everyone. Must have picked them up back in Niflheim. And speaking of freebies, here's one from me. Come back if you want to buy more. I doubt a souvenir like that could make its way into the hands of an ordinary citizen. Oh well, it's our pocket change now. Let's learn from history and book a place this time. As promised, I'm in the process of securing your ferry tickets right now. Told you, I'm a man of integrity. Should be smooth sailing from here. So let me know when you're ready to ship out. I admit I didn't expect Dino to secure us a ship. Well, must be pretty connected if he can pull some strings around an Imperial embargo. Yeah, that guy's one artful artisan. You guys ready to set sail? Already? The ship won't arrive till tomorrow. How about you find a place to spend the night? It's bedtime. Huh. Morning. 
Where's Specs? Should be back any minute now. What's that look for? It's in all the papers. What is? Insomnia... false. What? Is this your idea of a joke? I need you to calm down so I can explain. I'm as calm as I'm gonna get! There was an attack. The Imperial Army has taken the Crown City. As treaty room tempers flared, blast lit the night sky. When the smoke about the Citadel had cleared, the King was found dead. No, wait. Hold on. We had no way of knowing. What? Knowing what? That the signing was last night. That insomnia... But the wedding! Altitia! I know. That was the plan. Yet the reports of the invasion are all the same. How could every headline in the kingdom be wrong? <sighs> Lies. Hmm. If only... What else do we know? Well, then we can't be sure until we see it with our own eyes. And that means we go back to Insomnia. Might not be safe for us there. Might not be safe for us here. Turn back. Okay. <sighs> A lot of good hoping's gonna do. You mustn't lose faith. Really? Can faith stop a fleet of Imperial dreadnoughts? Just give it a rest. My old man had plenty of faith! Enough. The Empire lied. They betrayed us. Conjecture gets us nowhere. We're searching for truth. All you'll find are lies. Like that ceasefire. of those things. Imperial Dreadnoughts. They transport soldiers, namely the Magitek Infantry. The robots? Mass-produced humanoid weapons of warfare, to be more precise. It doesn't look like they'll be signing that peace treaty. Up ahead! <laughs> They've set up an inspection point. If the road ahead's blocked, then we find a way around. Let's make a detour. There ought to be a decent vantage point up ahead. There they are. Wanna take them out? 
Oh yeah, those scrap heaps are gonna wish they had a trick in my system. Seek a vantage point. The hill. Keep it on. Oh. Don't bother! Going on. Where are you? Outside the city, with no way back in. Makes sense. <sighs> makes sense? Are you serious? What about any of this makes sense? The news just told me I'm dead, along with my father and Luna. Listen, I'm heading out to Hammerhead. <sighs> about the king, it's true. <sighs> if you're looking for the whole truth, you know where to find me.
don't suppose the Crown's Guard is still active? I wouldn't count on it. Not with the Marshal out here. I wonder how things are in the city. There should be reports before long. Yeah, something this big can't go ignored. And what about us? What do we do? We make for Hammerhead now, and figure the rest out later. I got a message from my sister. She's with refugees bound for Lestal. <sighs> well, at least Iris is okay. Yeah. Doesn't sound like everyone else was so lucky, though. We'd best make haste. Noct won't be dead forever. No going back. Only ways forward. Glad y'all made it. <laughs> no weather for driving, that's for sure. Oh, thanks. Where's Cor? Uh, left to see the business. And left y'all a message with Papa. Yeah? Boss ain't sat still one second since he heard y'all were coming. Crystal and the King's Ring, what they've been after all along. So all talk of peace was merely a pretext. They played my father for a fool. Don't kid yourself. Reggie wasn't born yesterday. Lucius got dealt a losing hand and your old man played it the best he could. He saw this coming a mile away, and he wasn't gonna go down without a fight. In the end, though, well, it just wasn't enough. You need something else, you talk to Cor. I can't even remember the last time I saw Reggie. Feels like a lifetime ago. Cora left a message. Said he'll wait for you in the tombs. They're to the northwest of here. That's a short ways past the outpost. Find that first.
And this must be the outpost Sid mentioned. <sighs> it looks like a hub for hunters. Maybe they know something. Your Highness, I'm glad you're safe. Monica, where are all the others? Most of the Crown's Guard didn't make it. It was all we could do to escort Lady Iris out of the city. Dustin is with her as we speak, seeing her the rest of the way to Lestalem. I owe you guys big time. Head for the royal tomb. The marshal awaits. Across the land, Scylla Blossoms from Tenebrae can be seen displayed in memoriam. With no remains to mourn, throngs have gathered in all... Keep up with this guy. First the Crown City, then Hammerhead, then the Royal Tomb? His nickname should have been Core the Restless. Somehow not as catchy as Core the Immortal. Making it out of insomnia only adds to his legend. Well, fortune favors the bold. Huh? The wise make their own luck. Yeah! Since he's made it out of all those battles alive. Well, here we are. See ya! Find out. Wait. I have an idea. You strike from behind. From there, we'll follow. All right. Got it. hanging around here. Indeed. We're here. A tomb fit for royalty. Let's go in and find the marshal. Marshal. At last, your highness. Yeah. Wanna tell me what I'm here for? The power of kings passed from the old to the new through the bonding of souls. One such soul lies before you. To claim your forebear's power is your birthright and duty as king. My duty as king of what? Now is not the time to question your calling. <laughs> A king is sworn to protect his people. And yet he chose to protect only one prince. Was that his calling? Forsake the masses to spare his own son? How long will you remain the protected? The king entrusted the role of protector to you. Entrusted it to me? Then why didn't he tell me that? Why did he stand there smiling as I left? Why? Why did he lie to me? That day, he didn't want you to remember him as the king. In what time you had left, he wanted to be your father. <laughs> he always had faith in you, that when the time came, you would ascend for the sake of your people. Guess he left me no choice. That's not the only power your forebears left you. Your journey's just begun. Another tomb lies close by. I suggest you head there next. There are tombs scattered across the land. All are on dangerous ground. I'll go with you, for the time being. Not only to help, but to get a measure of your strength. So, 
Just how many of these powers are out there? There are 13 known royal arms, each enshrined at a royal tomb, though we know the location of only a few. I've enlisted the help of the hunters. They comb the land in search of the lost tombs. Ah! Where's the one nearby you mentioned? He can trick trench. We know the ah! Deep inside the tunnels. Here goes nothing! You've come a long way, Prompto! <laughs> That wasn't a bad effort, Prompto. Whoa! I just got praised by the immortal! Don't take that as a lead to slack off. You're only as good as your last battle. Uh, yes, sir. I'll keep at it, sir. Sir. A Magitek armor. Dangerous? This particular model poses a mild to moderate threat. Here's where we go our separate ways. Take this key. It unlocks the doors to the other tombs. Seek them out and lay claim to the power they hold. You'll need it. And what will you do? Keep an eye on the Nifs. Find out what they're up to. But you should focus on your own task. I will. You take care. Here we go. Keep it real, huh? Huh? Look! There's a door. What is this place? It appears to have been a shelter. People lived here? Those seeking refuge from war, most likely. Wars. Huh. What are they good for? People living here. Huh. What's this? The cable? Wonder where it leads. We can follow it and see. Don't like the look of that ceiling. Yeah, long overdue for some TLC. Sure, hope it holds up. Ugh, I hate that noise. I can feel I... <laughs> what was that? My bad. Kick the can. You are killing me here, big guy. Are you trying to give me a heart attack or something? <gasps> Did you see that? Something ran past. What was? Um. Hello. Uh, anybody home? I'm coming in. Ever wonder if people like died here? Maybe. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's playing with us. 
Hey, wait. What? Need to brace for this. Bomber, it's locked. Ah, uh, uh, it came from there. What is it now? Huh? What is it? That wasn't there before. Nothing to it. Oh! A place to lurk if I've ever seen one. Oh, totally. Get buried alive. Yeah, let us be quick.
A generator? So it would appear. Might still run. Start her up. Sweet, it works! Oh, then there was light. Oh man, I do love me some light. Time through here, right? Looks it. Locked. Cut it out, man. <sighs> Wait. Hear that? <laughs> uh, nothing. That's weird. <laughs> you just can't take a hit. <sighs> so sick just looking at us. Ooh, this looks promising. In an ominous sort of Stay way. Stay sharp.
so, Noct borrows the old king's powers. Hmm. More or less. At this rate, he'll soon rival his father's legacy. The copycat king. Adeline. Well, what's it like? Yeah? Finally picked up. But I'd lost another king. <sighs> Just busy building my arsenal. Good to hear. I have a task for you. The Empire's begun construction of a new base, along the road west to the sky. I need you to put it out of commission. If left unchecked, it will cost us access to the west and all the royal tombs that lie beyond. I believe you've met Monica. She can fill you in on the details. Go see her. What's up? Uh, people to see, bases to burn. Let's go see Monica at the outpost. Come to think of it, we did spy a large structure. Yeah, hard to miss an ominous thing like that. It ain't gonna be easy taking down a whole stronghold. Can we really do this? The Marshal believes we can, or he wouldn't have asked us. But first things first. Right. Let's head back to the Watch out! Watch out! Yeah! I'm going all out. Just don't get too carried away. You don't want to talk. Yeah! Nothing personal. Turn this on for size. All over. Onward. Yep. Ah! Good morning, fellas. Sun come up already? <clears throat> We've been out all night. I think that's our cue to call it a day. Safe and sound. Hmm. It's nice to not have to kill anything. Your Highness, the Marshal has apprised me of the plan. we found a back door into the Imperial base. I'll mark the route on your map. The way is secure. You should be able to gain entry relatively easily. Along with Dustin, who's guarding my sister? Hmm. Good to know we still have people we can count on outside the city. Yeah! 
nothing to it. Onward. From here, we will split into two groups. Prince Noctis, please join the Marshal up ahead. The rest of you will assist me in the diversionary effort. I'll see you guys later. You go give them hell. We'll do the same on our end. Once we're in, we launch our ambush, pushing out while support pushes in, crushing the enemy from both sides. You'd only get in everyone's way. Could have gone it alone if I wanted. That mentality could prove your undoing, Highness. Knocked! Marshal, it's good to see you again. All right on your end? Right as rain. The Nifs couldn't take their eyes off us. Thanks to you, we were spared their attention. Stay right where you are! Well, well, if it isn't Kor the Immortal. So, you survived the Citadel. But you won't survive what I have in store for you. It's past time your legend came to an end. i 
didn't require much strategy. Get back. Impressive. Seeing you in action puts my mind at ease. It's clear I don't need to worry anymore. I'll return to watching the NIFs. Till next time, take care. Ain't so bad out here once you get used to it. Still a lot we haven't seen, though. And a lot for us to do. <sighs> yeah. Buck up. We're just getting started. <laughs> <laughs>